All right, so this is the, the second example on angle of depression. I'll have several of these. I'll also have some on angle of elevation, so you can check those out. All right, so let's look at this one. It says, a company safety committee has recommended that a floodlight be mounted in a parking lot so as to illuminate the employee exit. The light will be mounted on a wall 39.82 feet above the ground and 51.74 feet horizontal distance from the exit. Find the angle of depression of the floodlight. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this. All right, so we've got a wall here, okay, and we've got a floodlight mounted above here, and it is on the wall 39.82 feet, so this is 39.82. Let's see if I can write that a little better. 39.82 feet, okay, and then 51.74 feet away is an exit. All right, so here's the, this is the exit, <clears throat> and it is 51.74 feet away, and we want to know the angle of depression. All right. Now, I mean, I guess you could argue, you know, if you have an exit here and the doors up here, you can have it have the light point to here or up here. But I mean, for this problem, they're wanting the we're pointing the floodlight right here to the bottom of the exit door. Okay. <clears throat> now, we want the angle of depression. And this is where students miss it all the time. What a lot what most students do is this right here. That's what they're looking for. Angle of depression. That is not the angle of depression. Okay? I want you to see the difference to find the angle of depression. All right? Whenever you draw the horizontal, the angle of depression is measured off the horizontal. This is your angle of depression. All right, it is not this angle. See, this is what this is what you would this is what most students would call the angle of depression. It's not. It's the angle measured off the horizontal. All right. So if we extend out this horizontal here. This is theta, all right? Now, we've got to figure out what theta is. Uh, there's a couple of ways we can do it. I mean, we could, we could uh, draw this, bring this up here like this, and we know this is 39.82, this is 51.74, okay? We know that's a right angle. We could find it like that, okay? And that's probably what we'll do here, is find it like that, okay? Uh, but let me show you another way. Notice here how we have two parallel lines cut by a transverse, and this is theta, so that means this would be theta also, alternate interior angles, so we could say that we know this angle here is theta also, so we could find it like this. Okay, either way is acceptable. All right. So let's go ahead and calculate it. I guess since we've got this, I mean, I guess this would be quicker because you'll realize that these are alternate interior, and you won't have to draw this part of it. So let's just use this. All right. So here, this is a right angle here. I've got. I know opposite. I know adjacent. What do we know about opposite and adjacent? That's tangent. So I know that tangent theta is equal to opposite, which is 39.82 over adjacent, which is 51.74. And so theta, 
that would be the inverse tangent of 39.82 over 51.74 and so theta I punch this into my calculator make sure your calculator is in degrees that's inverse tangent 39.82 divided by 51.74 and so we would get 37 point, and I'm going to round it to one decimal, 37.6 degrees would be the, uh, the angle of depression. All right, so hope this video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.